Since the legalization of marijuana in both Canada and across many states in America, more pregnant women than ever are using cannabis products to treat pregnancy symptoms like morning sickness. Various dispensaries are marketing their products to pregnant mothers. However, research to date is unable to determine the product's safety for the fetus. Recent headlines indicate discrepancies, making it difficult for pregnant mothers to make an informed decision. Is it safe to use cannabis products like marijuana during pregnancy? In this video, we will dive into the facts and research available on the topic. Cannabis refers to both marijuana plants and hemp plants. Both of these cannabis products contain hundreds of compounds known as cannabinoids. The two most well-known cannabinoids are delta-9-tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, and cannabidiol, known as CBD. Let's begin by discussing what is marijuana. Marijuana is a cannabis product that refers to the dried flowers, leaves, stems, and seeds from the cannabis sativa or cannabis indica plants. It can be smoked or vaped, which refers to inhaling vapor instead of smoke, or it can be taken orally or be applied to the skin, hair, or nails. Smoking, vaping, and eating marijuana result in a total body response, whereas creams and oils have a more local effect on the area it is directly applied to. Marijuana also goes by the names weed, pot, ganja, and many other street names. Marijuana contains substantial amounts of THC, from 3% to up to 30% of THC. Hemp, on the other hand, is a cannabis product which exclusively comes from the cannabis sativa plant. It is classified as containing less than 0.3% THC, making it ideal for therapeutic uses rather than for recreational use or intoxication. Medical marijuana is legally used in Canada to treat epilepsy, nausea associated with chemotherapy, a loss of appetite, chronic pain, and multiple sclerosis, to name a few. As of October 17, 2018, recreational marijuana has also been legalized in Canada. The difference between recreational and medical marijuana refers to the intent of the person, whether they are taking it for medical purposes or for intoxication and relaxation, as well as the need for prescription, the costs, and the locations it can be accessed. If you choose to use marijuana products medically or recreationally, always make sure to purchase it from a legal vendor to ensure that there are no added harmful and toxic byproducts. Surveys have revealed a wide misconception about the safety of marijuana. A common misbelief is that marijuana is a natural green drug and is safer than tobacco and alcohol. This is not correct. Marijuana can alter the senses, impair body movements, cause hallucinations, and can impair memory or even brain development. A study conducted in 2017, which anonymously surveyed pregnant women in a prenatal clinic, revealed that one-third of the pregnant women enrolled in the study used cannabis during their pregnancy. 96% of these women used cannabis to treat nausea. 31% of the women who used cannabis during pregnancy quit after the nausea subsided, approximately after the first trimester. 70% or two-thirds of the women quit once they found out they were pregnant, indicating that they knew cannabis was harmful to the fetus. In this study, mothers around the ages of 18 to 25 or who were unmarried, had a low income, or did not graduate high school were more likely to use marijuana while pregnant. Despite the unknowns of its use, why do many expecting mothers turn to cannabis products in particular, CBD products for relief. Consumption of cannabis products may help treat morning sickness, also known as hyperemesis gravidarum. One Canadian survey found that 77% of the medicinal cannabis used during pregnancy was for morning sickness. CBD has also been shown to help relieve anxiety, depression, and insomnia commonly associated with pregnancy. CBD oils and creams also help treat sore muscles and inflammatory arthritis. There are significant differences in using THC versus CBD products and their effects on the fetus. CBD and THC products can be purchased today in Canada without a prescription. 
To date, there is limited research on the effects of CBD use during pregnancy compared to THC. THC is hallucinogenic and produces the well-known high associated with marijuana products. Smoking, vaping, consuming, or topically applying marijuana products with high levels of THC have been long known to have negative effects on a growing fetus. THC can travel from the mother's bloodstream to the placenta, resulting in two times the risk of a stillbirth. Other negative effects of using THC products while pregnant commonly include low infant birth weight, cognitive delays, and increases the chance the infant will develop type 2 diabetes and ADHD. THC products are also very harmful while breastfeeding, as they can enter the baby's body through the mother's breast milk. CBD does not produce a high and is typically used for therapeutic uses, including for pregnancy symptoms. It can also be ingested orally as pills or edibles, vaped, or used as creams or oils. Despite the therapeutic benefits to pregnant mothers, CBD products contain small amounts of unpurified THC, which can harm the fetus. CBD products are also unregulated and not FDA or doctor approved due to very little clinical evidence and scientific research to support safety of its use during pregnancy. While it has been known for the last decade that THC products have many negative fetal effects, clinical evidence in support or against CBD use is lacking. There is a dire need for more research on chronic CBD usage and its effects on pregnancy. Medical experts, including the CDC, strongly suggest staying away from all marijuana products while pregnant or breastfeeding. For alternative options to treat pregnancy symptoms, please consult a doctor.